Hello, and welcome to SUB 104, Grand Challenges in Science. This is also probably your first semester of university, so welcome to QUT. This unit is a little bit different, and might not be quite what you were expecting. In SCB 104, we are going to focus on some of the grand challenges that are facing our global community. We will also look at how different approaches to science and different fields of science are coming together to develop new solutions to these challenges. So I took SCB 104 last year, and I found it to be a very different unit at first to lots of my other first year university units, and as well as quite different to lots of the classes I took in high school. But I actually found it to be a very rewarding unit and probably one of the most useful units I've taken as far as my current academic career. So lots of the skills you use are directly transferable to all the work you're going to be doing throughout the future of the university course. So skills such as academic writing, group presentations, such as conference presentations to your class and peers, as well as just the skill of actually being able to read and compile a list of all these uh, journal articles and references that you get. That's something that you're going to have to do throughout the rest of your university and academic career. So it's really important to learn those skills early on, and I think SEB 104 was the only class that really actually taught that. In SEB 104, there are three major pieces of assessment that you will need to complete. Each of these assessment items are designed to work together to build up your skills in research and scientific communication and to narrow your focus from a broad field of science to a specific challenge facing the world. These three assessment items are an individual annotated bibliography, group poster presentation, and finally an individual research essay. You will use a variety of written, visual and oral communication styles across these assessment items to communicate your research into the field and what solutions are being developed. Let's look at each of these assessment items in detail. Whenever a scientist begins a new project, they must research the current literature to understand what the current state of the problem is and what progress has already been made towards a solution. researching your chosen global challenge. You will begin reading broadly on the topic, but along with your group for the next assignment, you will begin to focus on a particular topic or challenge of interest. The annotated bibliography will document your individual research and provide a foundation for your contribution in the group poster. It is unlikely that you will spend much time in the library looking for journal articles, as most scientific literature is available online. In SEB 104, you will learn how to use the QUT Library website, Google Scholar, and other dedicated scientific databases to locate high-quality, peer-reviewed research articles. After you have completed your preliminary research into your chosen global challenge, you will need to work with your group to decide on a specific aspect of that challenge that you will all present on together. The poster is about providing a comprehensive overview of your global challenge and to highlight some of the specific aspects of the challenge or different solutions that are being developed to overcome that challenge. Your initial research from your annotated bibliography should provide the foundation for your poster and help to focus your research on the topic. You will use a combination of visual and oral communication skills to educate your peers about your chosen challenge during a mini-conference held during one of your workshops. This reflects how scientists present their research to their peers at conference, meetings and seminars. Remember to check Blackboard to find out when the poster conference is scheduled. You had a question? After having completed your annotated bibliography and group poster, you will have become quite an expert on your chosen challenge. From your research, you should have been able to identify a specific aspect or question about your challenge that you find interesting and engaging. Writing a research essay will be your final assignment. This essay will highlight your chosen question in your challenge and to discuss the research being done. It will allow you to compare and contrast different approaches scientists are using. We will discuss untapped opportunities in the field and it will also identify other social or political challenges that must be addressed. This assignment reflects how scientists write journal articles, reports and policies. These documents allow them to highlight their research, communicate solutions, and to guide members of the community in how best to face these incredibly complex challenges.
We hope this introduction has helped you to understand how the different assignments in SEB 104 are related and designed to progressively develop your research and communication skills. These are not the only three assessment components in SEB 104, so you should use Blackboard to find out about your full assessment requirements. While this unit will develop your research and communication skills, I hope you will also find it inspiring. You will be meeting and discussing with some of QUT's most exciting researchers and learning how their research is trying to address some of the greatest challenges facing the Earth. I hope it encourages you to follow your curiosity into a rewarding career as a scientist.